Hello everyone, I'm Bruce Crosby, Chairman of the Committee to Preserve Voting Rights. Uh, I do have a very uh, interesting experience from the last citywide election. I was helping my friend uh, Elidia Cruz, who was running for city treasurer. It seemed that uh, after Elidia collected her petitions, for citywide office, she filed them. And also, after reviewing her opponent, Stephanie Neely, the incumbent treasurer's petition, she decided to challenge her petitions. Well, Stephanie Neely challenged Elidia Cruz's petitions. And we had both candidates challenging each other's position for the office of city treasurer for the city of Chicago. In the process, we found out that the city treasurer's petition had numerous notaries whose signatures were actually forged. And after going through uh, Stephanie Neely's petitions, we identified about 35% of the signatures that she submitted were done by notaries, or notarized by notaries that were not authentic. Well, it seems that when we brought this information uh, to the Chicago Board of Elections, they refused to deal with it. Even though we could show them and the media had told them that these signatures were done by notaries who were either not real people or whose signatures were being forged by other people. In turn, Elidia Cruz, young, beautiful Puerto Rican girl banker from the north side, she was knocked off the ballot for having insufficient signatures, and Stephanie Neely ran for city treasurer unopposed. I think that's a problem with the system that allows an incumbent treasurer to fraudulently put together petitions and that the Board of Elections won't even investigate to see if it's true. Uh, and that's why Stephanie Neely was able to elect, get elected as city treasurer with no opposition.